Hey, what's up, social media family? I just want to have a chat with you. I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, and let you know something that uh, I kind of recently went through and just going to just dissect it, be open and vulnerable about it, and just talk to you about this. So probably about three weeks ago, I went through some of the hardest warfare that I've ever been through in my life. And as I was going through this warfare, I called my different intercessors and my apostolic, prophetic, kingdom-minded friends and had a lot of them really pray for me. And it was a very rough four or five days. I'm talking severe warfare, the hardest warfare that I've ever gone through in my life. And we got through it. And man, you want to talk about gaining new ground, gaining momentum in life, ministry, business, health, finances. Woo! When you go through extreme warfare, there's always something good that's going to come out of it. The devil never goes to battle where there's no spoils. So whenever there's a battle, whenever there's warfare, you got to realize that you are going to gain ground, okay? One of the best stories in the Bible is about this King Jehoshaphat when the three armies came against him, you know, the Moabites, the Amorites, and the people of Mount Seir when they came against him and they all defeated their self. The Bible says it took three days to go gather all of their goods, treasures, um, weaponry, everything, livestock, and bring it in. So you're always going to gain. Well, probably about a week ago, I went through one of the, I'm going to say the second hardest battles that I've ever been through. But let me explain something. After I went through that first battle, I had some, some friends of mine tell me, they said, Joe, this be the hardest warfare you've ever gone through because what you went through, you've learned from it, you've gained from it. And then also they prayed for me and they said, you're gonna be able to navigate through this differently. So when I went through this, the warfare was about three weeks ago, about a week ago, I went through this extreme warfare. I had a, a very, very vivid, powerful dream full of warfare, but there was also great victory in the dream itself. But then after the dream, I woke up and I prayed for about an hour and just had the most powerful breakthrough experience I've ever had in my life. It was just myself and the Lord. And it's even like I became my own personal intercessor at that moment. And then in the midst of this praying and interceding and doing warfare, I felt this warrior rise up inside of me like I've never had before in my life. And then I heard God say something. Remember, I had this warfare dream, but then I, I woke up and I got up and I had warfare for about an hour in the middle of the night. The Lord spoke something to me that, that, that shook me to my core. Now, I know all of this, but he spoke something to me and then the Holy Spirit revealed things that I knew, but when the Holy Spirit reveals it to you, it makes it even stronger. In the midst of my interceding, I heard a thunderous voice from heaven say, I am the superior spirit. I was like, whoa. First scripture that came to my mind, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Then I thought, that's right, Lord. Then the Lord reminded me, when the devil got kicked out of heaven, a third of the angels fell with him. Then I quickly remember the scripture that says, I make my angels, my ministers, a flame of fire. I started thinking about that. People talk about ministering spirits. People talk about angels. You know, a third of the angels of heaven got kicked out with Lucifer. So what you got to understand is there are even demonic spirits. There are warfare in the earth. There's warfare in the earth. Uh, there's, there's demonic floating around. There's demonic always around. There's different things going on. But we're not to worry just like when the man of God told his servant, look up. There's more that's with us than's against us. And when you realize that no matter what you're going through, what warfare, what the Bible calls them, wiles, schemes, tricks, strategies of the enemy, we're always going to overcome. We're always going to be victorious. He has never lost a battle. And what he spoke to me was, I am the superior spirit. 
Now we know people talk about all types of different spirits that are out there. You know, people say, oh, they got the spirit of lust. There's a Jezebel spirit. There's Python spirit. There's all this, all this stuff out there in the world. So many of them, okay? But always remember this, that the Holy Spirit is and always will be the superior spirit, the one who rules, the one who reigns, the one that comes from heaven. The Holy Spirit is the superior spirit. So never worry about what you're going through. Rely on the one who's within us. Rely on the one who moves and operates from heaven. The Holy Spirit will get you through anything. He will help you. He will guide you. He will comfort you. He'll also correct you. So I want to encourage you with this today. Flow in the power of the Holy Spirit. Be led of the Holy Spirit. When you're led by the Holy Spirit, you're not going to go wrong. You're not going to be led astray by any spirit that is in this world. There are so many people today who are led astray by so many spirits. They're demonically possessed or oppressed or influenced by the enemy. You just got to realize that when things do not line up with the Bible, they do not align with the Holy Spirit. They're operating out of a, a natural mindset. They're, they're controlled by the enemy. Friends, the superior spirit can break you out of anything, can break you out of any stronghold that you're in. He can change your mindset. You can live a life free. You can live a life free in God. So I just want to encourage you with this word today. The superior spirit, the Holy Spirit. He's our portion. He's going to guide us and lead us. Don't give in to the, the things. And I just even feel that some of you need a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit, a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. And I declare over you that you're going to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit in a very powerful way. I bless you, my friends. Hey, if you need prayer, go to my website, jojodawson.net. Just go to the contact connect button, hit it. There's a place there for prayer. Send me a prayer request. I would love to pray for you and just love to see you walk in the fullness that God has for you. Love you guys.